Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Brianna. This is Coffee Books and Bullet Journal and it is the start of the Feel good -a Alright guys, so it is June 1st. It is the start of the Feel good -a -thon. I am so ready for this readathon. I need it. Uh, it's gonna be a great great two weeks um, if you don't know what I'm talking about I'll put the announcement video up it's not too late to join you could totally do it uh, but here's what I'm reading so far um, I've already re I'm buddy reading the um, Aurora burning why did I say that I'm buddy reading Aurora burning with Megan from Meg's infinite book list and Jess from Jess nevertheless I've already read my daily portion of it um, that's the book that I am reading in the morning. So I just listened to the audiobook while I was doing my makeup, while I was getting ready for the day. Um, I started my day super early. Like I think I started working at like 6.45, which is great. Um, I've also had like three shots of espresso today. So that's fun. Um, but yeah, that's been my morning. Um, I still need to read my daily pages for The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo for my group book for the Literary, Literary Alliance. See, I can't talk. I am crazy today. Um, but I'm getting my hair done this week, this morning, this afternoon. Um, so I think I'll probably read it then. That's the plan because I'm getting it like colored and cut and I'm so ready for it. Um, it was, it needed to be done. Like I was set to do it late March and that's when COVID started and that's when they all got closed down. I mean, like you can tell, like that's where the color starts. Like that's my natural color this is I want it to actually be darker than this but anyway I'm getting that done today thank god getting this touched up it's a hot mess but I refuse to do home hair dye um so yeah that's my afternoon I do need to get some work done I have a project that I'm working on I had a um call on that this morning for about an hour and a half uh so I'm gonna work on like my end of that project now until my hair appointment at 1 30 and that's what I got going on today. So I'll talk to you later. Good evening, everybody. It is Monday night and I just wanted to pop in first off to show you my hair. It is so nice. I love it so much. Um, I kept it long. I didn't chop it off like I did last year, but it's so nice. It's so red again. <laughs> so happy. Um, but anyway, talk about some reading. Um, I have read, like I'm caught up with both of my group reads or by Betty Reads. Um, I've read about a hundred pages of, it's basically all of part one of Aurora Burning. I've done my like Voxer chat with the girls uh, and yeah, I'm, I'm liking it. Um, I, I really, really like Jay and Amy's writing and I really like the way that they can like portray very different characters. I feel like each character very much has a voice, much like they did in their last book. Um, it's fun. I, I think, um, like Megan was saying something about trying not to spoil anything, but like they didn't feel bad about a certain event that happened at the end of the last book. Um, but I think that like they're still in the heat of battle. Like, a warrior will, what was, what is it from the 100? God, Sasha's nuts tonight. Uh, a warrior will grieve when the war is over. So I'm, you know, I, I'm gonna let them pass that. And then I've also read about 60 pages of uh, Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. Obviously, I re <laughs> it's a reread for me. It's my third time reading it. Sasha's nuts tonight. Anyways, um, so I'm, I, I think we're only reading about 60 pages a day in that one because it's not very long and it's uh, a seven day read along, uh, but I still need to do my group reads chat in that, but uh, I needed to get some laundry done so I figured I would vlog while I was doing that um, or you know while I was in here. So yeah, I'm gonna finish that and then I'll do the Goodreads chat and then call it an evening because I'm tired. I started working at like 6 30 this morning. I have to go, I do have to drive tomorrow. So fun, 
but I'll get to finish. I'll get to do some more audiobook listening in the morning. So that's good. I think I'm going to probably just work on these two books right now. I'm not going to try to fit in any more right now um, because then I can... <laughs> I don't know. I mean, maybe I should finish reading, like, read something else, because then if I, like, am done, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but for tonight, I probably will not pick anything else up, so. All right, guys. Um, it is Tuesday. Um, Tuesday afternoon. I am home from work. I still need to do some stuff at home, but I was getting a headache, and it was not good. It's so hot. It's very very hot. I did finish this morning um, my day page, days pages of Aurora Burning. Um, I'm really enjoying it so far. Uh, I really like the fact that Zila has a little bit more of a bigger role to play this book than she did last book because a lot of like some of her chapters in the last book were like literally one page long so she didn't have as much to uh to contribute. I absolutely loved the Easter egg that was in here because Zila, when she was a child, was on the ship Janeway, which is the captain of Star Trek, not Star Trek Discovery, Star Trek Voyager from like the late 90s, early 2000s, I think. I don't know. But um, I loved that show as a kid. So it was really cool to kind of like see that little Easter egg, which I know Jay and Amy do Easter eggs all the time from other books or other... Um, like pop culture science fiction-y stuff. Um, yeah, so I'm liking it. I'm having a hard, like sometimes I'm having a hard time paying attention or understanding what's going on. I don't know if it's because uh, there's so much going on in the book or if it's because uh, there's just so much going on in real life. Um, I, I, this is hard to talk about because I'm not the voice that needs to be heard right now. I'm a very white woman. I don't need to be talking. Which brings me to my next thing. Um, there is a lot going on right now and I don't need to be heard. That's, that's just it. Um, I don't, I don't need to be the one talking. I don't need to be the voice that people need to be hearing right now. Um, I will boost and amplify the voices of uh, the voice, the voices that need to be heard. I, I'm white. My my argument is completely invalid. Um, this doesn't really mean a whole lot to you because this is like you're seeing this video a week later um but i'm not going to be putting up any like this will be the first probably the first video that i put up um potentially but i'm basically muting my channel until the 7th um just because let's watch the videos of black creators let's watch the videos of um you know the, the people that are shouting out black authors and um other black creators things like that who cares about a hunger games vlog which i have edited and ready to go but i don't nobody needs that right now nobody needs that um so yeah um today is a technically it's called it's blackout tuesday um which is basically like where like you don't show your artistic pictures on Instagram and you don't um, promote yourself. A lot of creators though have gone like um, above and beyond and they're doing that for the whole week. So I'm going to do that. Uh, so yeah, next Monday will be the first video. So yeah, I guess it will be the first video. But anyway, um, I do absolutely encourage you to um, check your subscription boxes. Um, check your subscription feed. Who are the people that you're watching? Um, because if every single thumbnail is a white person, you should probably do some reevaluating. Um, that's, yeah, that's all I'm gonna say. Uh, I will link some black booktubers down in the description below. Please go check out their channels. Um, support them anyway uh that's all i got for you right now um it's it feels weird to like just sit here and talk about books when people's literal lives are on the line um it's just it feels weird it feels fake 
Um, so I don't, I don't know. This probably will be my only post tonight or my update today. Uh, it's, it's a weird, cause like I want to have this vlog. I want to, um, like talk about the books, but at the same time, like this is not important. Reading books is not important. Um, talking about books, reviewing books, not important in the grand scheme of life. Uh, I just, I don't know. It, it feels weird. It feels disingenuous, I guess. Um, so yeah, that's, that's what's in my head today. Um, I do need to get some work done and I will, uh, talk to you guys later. So, bye. All right, you're getting a new look, but I need to put away my food box. And here's what we're gonna do. Um, so I have a few things to talk about. Uh, this is not really turning into a feel good vlog, uh, but that's just the way the world is this week. Thank you, Doyle, for just drinking in front while I'm, I'm just gonna get rid of the light. I think that might work better. <laughs> um, anyways, that's just you know, how things are working. Um, so, I'm looking at my TBR and I'm not loving it uh, because uh, most of it was like white authors and I should I mean that's not good anyways I should have done better in general um, and I will admit that uh, but after everything that happened I really need to do better um, I, I can't say that I'm a good ally if I'm not amplifying and like shouting these, you know, these authors, same as I'm, you know, shouting out the creators. So I went and bought some new books. I don't know if they'll fit categories. We'll just see. Maybe I'll also be reading all of the, the author original books that were on my TBR, but I bought new books. It's cool. So. Here's what I bought. Um, they were doing a buy one, get one free. I went to Barnes & Noble um, because I'm going to talk about something else here in a second. But anyway, Barnes & Noble was doing a buy one, get one free on a few middle grades. So I got Ghost Boys by Jewel Parker Rhodes. And this is about police brutality in a middle grade form. So I'm really, really looking forward to that. Um, and it's actually the same person that wrote Towers Falling which is a middle grade I picked up a couple weeks ago -ish. Um, and then I found um, Love Like Sky, which is a, um, it's a blended family. Um, I, I don't know if they're mixed or black, but it seemed really cute. So I got that. And then I got The Bells by Danielle Clayton. This is a YA fantasy about like, basically like everything is, gray or black and white um and then the bells are the only ones that have color and they're the like they can bestow color upon you and things like that um i've heard really good things about this and i just never picked it up um and then this was kind of like the the thing that sparked everything because i really wanted this book um i i should have gotten it <laughs> it was on book of the month a couple of months ago um and i like i was like oh that sounds really interesting and then i just never picked it up um so i found it at Barnes and noble and that is the sound of stars uh by alicia dow and this is like a ya sci-fi um but it's can can the girl with the forbidden library and the alien who loves pop music work together to save the world so first off, the cover is beautiful. I think I am actually going to start with this one and pick it up for the Feel Good Athon um, to fulfill like the cover prompt because it is absolutely gorgeous. I also just would like to point out how fucking cute she is. Or they are, I don't know. Nope, her. Um, and I, I think she's queer, I'm not sure. Um, but she says that she lives in Germany with her partner. So I don't know if she's queer or not, but I'll have to do some research. Um, yeah, so those are the books that I got. Moving on to my second problem, and I'm gonna be doing this while I unbox my dinnerly box. I, um, I signed up for 
Dinnerly, which is a food subscription box. It's like $4 or something like that a meal. It's really cheap. Um, I get the one that's for four meals um, just because some of the portions sometimes are too small for two people. Some of the portions tend to be a little small, but in the event that it's not, I have leftovers and then I don't have to cook every night. Um, but anyway, before I start talking about the box, let's talk about uh, something that happened on Twitter today, and that is Book Outlet being absolute shit. Basically, someone called them out for, um, you know, they have the, like their vlogger friends, uh, and someone called them out for basically um, having all white vlogger friends, even though we have black booktubers who do have relatively large followings. Uh, we don't have, like, they're pretty much all white vlogger friends. Anyway, they came back saying that we, um, that we support family friendly content. Um, so first off, does that mean that black people are not family friendly? Like what? And then it said something about like, we are always looking for men and women to like become part of our vlogger friend family or whatever. So not only are we like very anti-black, uh, we're transphobic? What? I have no words. No words. Um, unfortunately, I have a book outlet order that's like in the shipping process. Uh, and I also have like quite a bit of like rewards money. I think I'm just gonna let it sit there. I don't want to give them any money. I don't want to like... I'm done. I'm done. That will be my last book outlet order. Um, I'm going to link down below uh, Thrift Books. I haven't done any research yet to see if they're anti-black, but uh, I would hope that they are doing better than this. But I'm going to leave a code down below for Thrift Books uh, to get a discount. I'm not sure what the discount is below. but. You should check them out. Uh, I hope that they get a lot bigger now that Book Outlet has shown their true colors. So reading, um, I read the, I listened to the audio of the pages I needed to for Aurora Birdie. Excuse me, I'm making like a ton of noise. I listened to the pages for Aurora Burning that I needed to, um, and then I picked up the audiobook for Long Way Down by uh, Jason Reynolds. Everyone used, was talking about it, I think, last year. Um, I finished it. I mean, it's like a one-hour audio book, so I, I finished it very, very quickly. Uh, but it, the writing is kind of genius. I think I'm going to give it four stars. Um, being as it is in verse, um, you know, like, my history with, like, novels in verse. I don't typically love them, um, but this one was powerful um you don't get to know the actual character like the narrator very well um but i think that that was the point uh this character was not he's not the story he's the lens to tell the story um i was genius it was i was really really good um so there you go <laughs> um I can use that for the prompt of um, reading a book by an author that I've never read before because I actually have never read anything by Jason Reynolds. I have um, The Opposite of Always, which I might pick up this week. Who knows? Uh, I'm just going to kind of like, I don't know, throw out my entire TBR. Maybe I'll just place categories again and try again because I'm <laughs> trying. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'll just ditch categories for the month. We'll see. We'll see if like things can fit. Um, but yeah. Anyway, what do I have in here? I have spinach. I have uh, sugar snap peas. I've got green onions. Um, chuka soba noodles. I don't even remember what I got this month, this week. Basically, what it is is you pick three meals uh, every week. And I think for the four meal one, for three meals a week, for four portions, um, it is like with tax and shipping and everything like that, it's $72 or something like that, 
which honestly, let's be honest, is less money than I would spend at the store. And now I don't go to the grocery store nearly as much. Okay, so I got Cheesy Lovers Baked Penne with Broccoli. I got Coconut Curry Ramen. And I got Crispy Buffalo Tortellini with Spinach Salad and Ranch Dressing. Cool. All right, I'm gonna need butter, milk, and eggs. Uh, and then they give you like this like small grocery list of things that like are staples that either they can't put in the box or um, you know things that you should already have like oil and things like that. Um, buffalo sauce, we got ranch dressing, a penne pasta, so like it's all packaged. The nice thing, I mean, well I guess it's the reason why it ends up being cheaper is that um, like they don't portion out each meal. You just get everything together and then you just figure out what goes together. Curry powder. Panko breadcrumbs, must be for the tortellini. Broccoli. Anyway, my sister like has been doing it for several, um, coconut powder. Uh, has been doing it for a while because she lives in New York City and wasn't able to get fresh vegetables and fresh produce um, grocery shopping because of like quarantine. Um, so, um, and then she she sent me a link for one, and it's just it's been really fun, and it's also like a lot of different meals that like we wouldn't normally get. So, um, yeah, anyway, I've been talking for 12 minutes at this point, almost 13 minutes. Uh, I think I'm done talking. <laughs> I, th I think I'm done talking. Um, yeah, I do still need to finish my days of, or my, yeah, you finished yesterday's, and today's portion of The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo because I didn't do that last night. Um, I went on kind of a rant about well I'm not a rant um like I went and like unfollowed a whole bunch of people on Instagram when um like yesterday was blackout Tuesday uh and there were a lot of people that like posted the blackout Tuesday thing on Instagram and then continued to post other things and I was like that's not really the point like they didn't post things about Black Lives Matter or anything like that. Like, they just continued with their normal Tuesday post. And I was like, that's not the point. Bye bye <laughs> So, I'm just, I've had it with stupid people lately. That's all I got. Anyway, I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye. All right, guys. It's Monday, so we're into the second week of the Feel good -a -thon. I haven't vlogged in a couple of days. Um, if you follow me on Twitter, you know, a lot of shit has happened in the last few days. I don't even know how, like, it was just one thing after another. Um, yeah. I think the last thing we talked about was Book Outlet um, and how I'm not going to be supporting them anymore. Uh, then, like, I, I don't even want to go into all of it. Follow me on Twitter. It's down below. A lot of people have shown their ass in a lot of different ways and yeah um, I canceled my book of the month subscription so that's cool um, they while originally weren't like blatantly racist they just kind of like a did not put anything out for pride month that had an LGBT story in it um and we didn't like the ratio of black authors to white authors is ridiculous uh and then somebody one of the bookstagrammers called them out on it on a bookstagram post and they deleted their comment so they are the new business that is uh out the door, I guess. Um, so if you if you uh, know of any book box subscriptions that you want me to feature on the channel that are actively supporting Black Lives Matter, please let me know. That being said, let's talk about reading because like that's a thing that actually happens in reading vlogs. Uh, I haven't read any more of Aurora Burning. Um, 
the buddy read kind of just got paused for a little bit just because of everything that was going on and then um someone had some personal things happen um and i you know not my place to go into them but it's we just kind of put it on pause because we weren't like we don't want to be way ahead so i'm on about page 200 of that it's uh i'm really enjoying it but it's just i don't know it felt weird to keep reading <laughs> when everything happened it just like i noticed that my entire tbr was white and that was not okay so then I picked up the audio. I've basically only been listening to audiobooks. That's pretty much all I've been able to do. Um, so I listened to Long Way Down by Jason Reynolds. I gave that four stars. Really enjoyed it. It's in poetry um, or in verse. And the, the author made a lot of choices that I um, wouldn't normally agree with. But in this instance, it really worked. Uh, so I gave that one four stars. Then I read Slay by Brittany Morris and I absolutely loved that. I ended up giving it four and a half stars. It had a lot, it talked a lot about issues that me as a white person never have to go through, never have to deal with, um, especially in the video game culture. I'm not super in like involved with like the online MMO type games. So I don't necessarily, um, like I don't I don't know that these things are issues and I say that in like I should have like I should know these things um but yeah it was definitely eye-opening and very much enjoyed that one gave that one four and a half stars the audiobook is fantastic for that one um so yeah that's what I read this week nothing on my actual TBR um, I think I had said that I wanted to start The Sound of the Stars, but I haven't yet because I am trying to read through The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. Um, I have like a very mixed emotions on that one right now because I love the book so much that I don't want to taint it by what's going on right now. But at the same time, it has definitely been an escape and something I'm really loving. So, I don't know. Uh, yeah, sorry this vlog was a complete mess of a vlog. Uh, I have a lot of new subscribers and I'm sorry that this is the first video that you're watching of mine. I promise I will be more succinct when my brain is a little bit less mush. I'm gonna go now and start next week's vlog. I will have a feel good -a week two vlog up next week. Um, so if you are new here and you have not yet subscribed, there's a little red button that you can do so down below the video. And all of the other links to my social media will be in the description below if you would like to be my friend on any other platform. Thank you all for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.